Uh, three, two, what's up, everybody? Jings and things in the house. You know what I hate about uh, lifting weights is uh, every now and then I will go on YouTube.com for quote-unquote lifting content or whatever, but uh, I'm already a little prima donna about it. I have uh, people I like to watch already. I like Seek of Strengths, uh, Christian Thibodeau, uh, even Jurek. There's a few others. You know, I I'm really not too big into it. I already know everything. I'm the Grandmaster Flash of it all. You know, so who the frick do I have to leave, like watch and listen, right? But the thing is, it's like, I, I guess I have this uh, Google identity, right? And it tells all these platforms that, oh, hey, uh, Jinx and Things is, is a super mega big boy with though. You know, so when I go to Amazon... I, I get uh, all these dumb recommendations like, oh, hey, you you, you want to get our, our little machine? It's like, I don't want a machine. I use barbells, you little loser. You you want you want to walk out? I was like, no, that causes a lot of extra fatigue that I don't need. I'd rather fatigue my body via uh, exercising and staying up super late and cringing and seething and bed over dumb little YouTubers that want to give useless freaking information out there. Oh, jeans and things. Hey, look, uh, YouTube.com. Hey, look, there's a, there's a, there's a YouTube channel called Picture Fit. You're going to love him. You're going to love Pito Fit. He's so fucking informative, bro. You made me curse already in the first minute. I was trying not to curse. Look, lifting is dumb. It's retarded. The only reason anyone should lift is if they like lifting. If it's a chore or if it's like if it's a goal for someone to go lift, then don't fucking worry about it. Get a go swimming, do something you like. That's so fucking crazy to me. Oh man, hey, hey oh man, hey, one day I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna start lifting the weights for my health. Stupid. The fuck is wrong with you? Jesus Christ. But, yeah, you know, if someone wants to get into lifting, uh, you know, first off, there are YouTubers that are good about programming. Program, what does that mean? Oh, it's just the uh, exercises that you do and how frequently you do them, uh, how many sets of reps, blah, blah, blah. There are YouTubers for that. Sick of Strength is an amazing one. Uh, uh, Candido is an amazing one for someone that wants to start off via a uh, power lifter or whatever. Natural hypertrophy is amazing. Great programming for exercise tutorials. Scott Herman Fitness. There's probably, he, he probably does every lift in the book on his stupid YouTube channel. Alan Thrall, really get great with just a squat bench and deadlift, right? And then, and then other, and you know, yeah, that's all you need. All you, <laughs> all, all you need is natural hypertrophy, Alan Thrall, and and, uh, and the other guy. That's it. All these other guys. All these other guys. They're just dog BS. They're, they're nothing compared to my sweet daddy, Alan Thrall. To my sweet Padres, Seeker Strength. It's like, what are you here for? What are you here for? What are you here for, picture fit? You need attention that bad, you little cunt. I'm making these sweet little quirky cartoons. I use copyright free music for my shit. Ah, I'm gonna explain really simple bullshit. It's it's like those finance YouTubers that start off with like, oh, how to open a savings account, how to open a checking account. And then here's the thing about lifting, you know, there's a lot of minutia involved and stuff, you know, uh, 99% of people that say they want to go lift, they are, they mean they want to go lift for aesthetics. And so lifting for aesthetics, it, it's going to be a person's, uh, long time journey on figuring everything out, whatever suits for them. And maybe people don't want to hear that. Maybe people just want to say, oh, shut the fuck up, jeans and things. Just go squat, squat bench and dead and do your isolations and, and, and suck a dick, right? Shut up! Fuck you! But what I'm saying, it's minutia, is eventually we'll figure it out because we like it. It's our hobby. We like to lift. That's why we're lifting. We like it. So we're going to figure it out eventually. For example... 
This video, it says, if you're resting only one minute between sets, you need to watch this. Right. What phone number's on this? Am I getting doxxed? Yep. Don't dox me. <clears throat> so how do we figure this out? First off, Alan Thrall probably already has a great, amazing video on this. <sighs> Second of all, let's say uh, something simple, the bicep curl, right? So we can bicep curl uh, 20 pounds per set of 12 pretty decently. You know, by a 12th rep, it's like failure, right? And so that's what we can do, right? And then so, hey, wait three minutes. You can do it the next day. You can do 12. Great. Hey, you know what? Let's try only resting two minutes. You can still do 12. All right. Hey, try waiting uh, just one minute. Oh, hey, hey, slow down there. We're only doing like nine reps or whatever, right? So now we kind of like figure out our thing. And maybe we we're not going to figure that all out in one session. Maybe we might not find that out in one week, one month. It might take a while to like figure out our sweet spot. And also like our sweet spot could change over time as well. So we got to find a way to manage that, right? Dummy, hello? So, if you're resting only one minute between sets, you need to watch this. And then also, we can be using uh, our resting time as some kind of progressive overload. Say we can do 12 sets, and, I mean, uh, sets of 12, and two minutes is our sweet spot. Now we want to challenge ourselves. Now we only wait 45 seconds in between sets. And but and then, oh, well, I can only complete eight reps or whatever. Good. That's progressive overload. But we want to, and then, you know, maybe in a, in, a, in a few weeks or whatever, we're completing all our sets and reps in, the, in that 45-second window. So that could be a tool of progressive overload as well. But you know what? A lot of these motherfuckers, they want they they say they're making these videos, uh, for new guys. Oh, this is just an instructional video for the new guys. Look, as far as listening is concerned, someone stops being new after the first uh, few months of uh, consecutive lifting, and that's it. That's who you're making all these videos for. There's millions and billions of these videos, and their little cope that they have is, oh no, but I'm using it for a very specific person in a very specific time and space. And it's like, okay, cool, you're not fucking helping anybody. And plus, you know, Alan Thrall probably, you know, already does all this shit way better, like uh, hand-holding and stuff, <clears throat> right? That's always our excuse. I'm making it for new guys. I'm making it for new guys. And you, you know, I get it. You know, as far as like marketing's concerned and everything, that there's, there's way more people that are just beginning than there are that are intermediates and that are advanced. And once you become an inter intermediate lifter, you become a fucking dickhead. Because when you become an intermediate lifter, you don't want to listen to little cunts like this and what they have to say. You automatically dislike this garbage and you, and you call YouTube.com on the telephone and you tell them, hey, can I speak to your manager? I don't want this fucking dog shit on my fucking algorithm anymore. That's what you tell them. When you're an intermediate lifter, I don't know what that is yet. I think I'm like, you know, beginner, you know, intermediate, whatever, right? That's what the internet's going to tell me, right? Fat, weak, whatever, right? And so, hey, you know, hey, I'm doing a lot of talking. Let's hey, look. So this YouTube channel is called Picture Fit. Um, He doesn't have his physique up. First strike. No, actually, that's all the strikes. You don't have your you don't have your physique up, no physique, no opinion. You don't have your lifts up. It's like, look, I just I just I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I meet thousands, I meet millions, I meet hundreds of people. They all claim this these these feats, these pheno these phenoms of athleticism and all this dog shit. And and yet, 100% I can guarantee you these motherfuckers have a problem getting off of the couch. And look, not all y'all are like Rocky's trainer, Mickey or whatever. Like, oh, well, what if you're a fat old man, but you know what you're talking about? I don't give a fuck. You're a fat, weak loser that may know what he is talking about. Great. I'd rather look at someone who has their lifts up, who, 
you know, isn't a total fat fuck or weak fuck and listen to them. Because there's a lot of those people out there already, too. You know? I'm not an informative channel, by the way. I'm talking my shit. So they're like, oh, Jinx, why do you want to... Don't listen to me, stupid. The fuck is wrong with you? Read a book, cunt. If you really want to, quote unquote, learn, you retard. No physique, no camera, no opinion. Use cartoons, use copyright free music. Perfect, terrific, my favorite. Start the video, right? In between sets, where I've said that resting two to three minutes is generally the best for games. But some of you wonderful individuals were quick to tell me, hold up, Mr. Picture Fat, that doesn't line up with what I've heard, and that is to me. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, don't react to comments, man. Don't worry about a picture fit. Those guys are just haters. They don't, you know, they, 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 they haven't studied in, in the dojo that uh, you've uh, been in and whatnot. As far as what I've learned in lifting is like, hey, man, you can make one small little like opinion piece or whatever, and they're all going to attack you like I'm attacking you now for even having an opinion in the first place, uh, because this is, I feel like this is all going to be uh, very vapid information anyway. This isn't going to be like uh, anything out of trial and tribulation of your like uh, experience or anything, because first off, uh, you, you can't even showcase your experience. No physique, no opinion. Hey, so don't worry about the commentators, douche. Don't worry about it. Maximize muscle hypertrophy, you need to rest less. So was I wrong about this one? Well, let's talk about it. Now to preface, what I'm going to tackle in this video is the specific claim that resting less between sets is best for maximizing muscle hypertrophy, aka muscle growth. Everything else, like convenience, time spent at the gym, etc., are important factors to consider, but aren't the... See, that's, that's just real cool, man. You know, say, you know, best for hypertrophy. Uh, had, I got in a fight with my friend Chris about uh, not speaking in uh, definitives. And Chris was like, I might shut the fuck up. Don't ever fucking say that. I'm like, dude, you need to shut the fuck up because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Why, why don't you go squat ass to grass and then, sh and then tell me something. Until then, shut the fuck up. Until then, you're just reading a newspaper, motherfucker. You know? But yeah, best for hypertrophy. Like, you're retarded. Just shut the fuck up. And what do you mean retarded? I mean, what do you mean by hypertrophy? You got triangles for arms. You can't even show your phone physique. Best for hypertrophy. Why don't we see the results of the best hypertrophy uh, protocol, cunt? focus in this video we are talking about muscle growth and muscle growth only and when it comes to that people often recommend something like doing three to four sets of six to twelve reps and resting only about 30 to 60 maybe 90 seconds between sets now this con common rep common recommendations <laughs> hey let me tell you what chief you see these boomers over here with their four to three to four sets six to twelve uh <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know where he gets this from. I get it. Yeah, I guess it's like bodybuilding.com, right? They're going to tell you. Common recommendations, four sets, six to 12. I mean, break it down, motherfucker, if you're going to break it down. You got a whole fucking YouTube channel. You can fucking talk about it. Four sets of 12 on what? Squats, deadlifts too? It kind of seems like you're just talking about isolations there, bud. But, I mean, whatever the fuck. Or it, can, it might not even be isolations. Because you're doing uh, six sets. I mean, six. There, there's a you have the six rep range there. You got 90 seconds in between rest. Who, who's gonna, who's going to do a, a set of 12 on squats to a failure and, and only wait 30 to 90 seconds? You're fucking retarded. Why don't you be more specific? Specific. Oh, common recommendations. All you little boomers with your common recommendations. Well, why don't you at least specify what they're actually recommended, recommending instead of like talking in a blanket, cunt? Concept actually has been on the fitness radar for quite some time, where even a study published 40 years ago made a very similar statement. Oh, look, hey, <laughs> there's the study. There's the study, boys. And you know what? I'm, I'm Magic Man uh, Picture Fit here, and I'm about to fight this fact in science with brand new flashy spinning rims. Uh, science. I, 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 I have no. That is so fucking stupid. What it was.
I'm not, I'm not even going to pull up this argument. I, I just, I just uh, read whatever he highlighted. However, in strength type, training aimed at inducing muscle hypertrophy, consecutive bouts of exercise compromise, comprising 6 to 12 contractions with short rest periods are typically carried out with emphasis on muscle failure. All right, just because some loser wrote a sentence in a paper, and I mean, you show that piece of paper quick, motherfucker. Like, 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 like. Wait, let's let's see that again. All right, applied physiology by Peter Kaiser. Who's that pedophile? I don't fucking know him. Sweden. You're gonna trust the. You're gonna trust the Swede. Uh, uh <laughs> your fitness knowledge. Are you retarded? <sighs> Look, even Doc's phone number right there. I know that's not a phone number. Let's 40 see. years ago made a very similar statement. So the fact that it's still recommended today, there's got to be some rationale. By who? By what? Shut up. No one's recommending that. They might say, uh, yeah, for compound movements, uh, here's like a kind of a rep range, kind of like a time you want to wait between uh, for isolations. Yeah, this is kind of guaranteed. Uh, or, or uh, you know, whatever, recommended. It's like, shut, uh, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, go ahead. ...why less rest is indeed best for gains. Perhaps the most repeated rationale is that resting less between sets elevates certain anabolic hormones like growth hormones. <sighs> uh, I, I can't even, um, I don't know. I, I watch a lot of, like, lifting YouTube, man, you know? watch a lot of lifting youtube and when they talk about like raising your testosterone or your hormones or getting yourself in a good level like naturally all what they say is like eat your fruits and vegetables eat your multivitamin uh have a bedtime don't drink don't smoke uh you know be young uh don't don't fall in love don't have a lot of stress uh, don't do live streams with Ian Ellis. Like those are the recommendations, you know, they don't say, Hey, faggot, uh, less, uh, less rest between sets. It'll, 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 it's going to be like shooting up, uh, tr trembolone. I've never heard that ever, but I mean, to be fair, I've never read, uh, Swedish, uh, workout, uh, newspapers from 40 years ago so maybe this guy really has like the pearls or whatever but you know what i'm saying is i know what he's saying he's like oh these are what these dumb boomers are saying these dumb boomers are saying um you know they even recommended it in the newspaper they even said that it's like shooting trend when you have short periods but here i am i'm about to decipher the bs and i'm going to tell you what's real Hormone and of course the ever popular testosterone and by elevating these we should see greater muscle gains Now if we look at all the research dating back 40 plus years These hormones are indeed acutely spiked when using short rest periods like one minute between sets is what? Shut up It's not a real study <clears throat> You're a retard No one believes this even if it was in a study or whatever, this isn't in, this isn't like in the uh, status quo of how people think about this shit. You're just spewing nonsense. This, this dude got got a few sentences out of an article and wanted to make a whole fucking video about it. He wanted to debunk something that's so easily debunked. You're a fucking retard. Actually, growth hormone. So does that mean that less rest is indeed better for gains? Fuck you. That's what it means. Fucking retard. Well, maybe if we ignore the rest of the science. Yes, less rest does acutely spike the levels of- Yo, you little cheeky cunt. Well, maybe if we ignore the rest of the science. <laughs> yeah, maybe if we were ignorant, maybe if we were ignorant dumb boomers from Sweden from 40 years ago, then we would believe it. Fuck you. Of these hormones, but the acute spikes are just that short term elevations around the time of exercise. And although growth hormone and testosterone are part of the vast network pertaining to muscle growth, there's no scientific evidence supporting acutely spiking them to have any meaningful effects on muscle growth. All right, so he spent a minute and a half building his strawman and then destroying his strawman in a five and a half minute video, a minute and a half doing that. And then about a good 45 seconds of the rest of that was him and his stupid intro uh, shitting on the ha uh, hating comments. 
You're, you're, hey, you're doing good, bud. You're a winner. And that's really the big kicker here. What good is the rationale of anabolic hormones or other rationales like acid buffering or a metabolic accumulation if resting less ultimately does not... Big words, tough guy. Push your squat, stupid. ...result in more actual realized gains. And in this most important matter, the science consistently shows that short rest periods might actually be a disadvantage for maximizing... What science? All right, post your stupid science then. Where's the science? The science? The si... You know, science. Heard of it? I can sell you a gram of science right now for $60. You want some? <laughs> muscle growth in 2016 a study showed that in terms of biceps and oh see so this one is from uh 2016 it's not from four years ago anymore let's see are these guys also from sweden maybe they're from the they maybe they're from the fucking goddamn states of america and they know goddamn stupid goddamn sweet to tell you what we know how to build goddamn muscle around these parts especially in goddamn wichita falls texas starring strength motherfucker uh, it's not really telling me where it's from, but, you know, hey, it's not four years old boomer logic. We're new, cool, and hip. Biceps and triceps muscles, which, you know, if you ask any bro, are the only muscles that really matter. Resting only... If you ask any bro... No, fuck face. Bros are smart. Bros actually upload their physiques and their lifts online. Bros don't just say buys and tries, bro. No, bros care about the shoulder, the traps, the forearms, grip strength. They care about all that junk. All right. They care about all three heads of the tricep, all three heads of the shoulder. They care about having a developed chest. You know, so so your so your arm isn't just hanging off of off, off of a, a shitty narrow torso. It's bodybuilding, motherfucker. You don't 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 be don't be so uh just just name calling. Oh, you know the bros, but hey, hey chief, hey chief, chief, chief. You're watching me though. You're not some bro. You you love science, so you're actually here for for smart gains, right? You're not some stupid bro loser that just that just cares about uh, buys and tries. I tell you what, those goddamn bros probably lift way harder than you, way smarter than you, actually give a fuck more than you. Whatever. The one minute between sets resulted in little to no muscle growth over eight weeks, but with. Re I want to see that study actually. Yeah, I want to see that. It's, it's like, how do you how do you get a group of people? It's like you you get the same person, and you multiply them by a hundred by a hundred people or whatever. The same person, same conditions, uh, same hormonal profile, uh, same uh, uh, you know part in their lifting career. It's like that that like whenever I hear studies like that, that is just so retarded. It's like, oh, they didn't get any development in eight weeks. Who? What was it, 10 people? You made a whole study and you're going to make a claim like that via 10 people from what? Some study like 20 years ago? And guess what? People lie. Whatever, douche. Growth over eight weeks. But with resting three minutes between sets, there were statistically significant increases in the body. Shut up. Are you, are you retarded? Who's going to fucking wait three whole ass minutes to do a fucking setup? bicep curls you're a little fucking girl so so are this dude is really recommending someone to wait three minutes between okay so see most people uh go work out in the gym right okay cool so let's say uh so bicep right so biceps right we're gonna do arm there right so biceps so what we want to do four sets right so four sets so four times three 12 minutes already 12 minutes for and let's say what 30 seconds to complete the set a minute let's just say four so 16 minutes in just doing four sets of bicep curls and then uh overhead tricep extensions right so then that's another 16 minutes and and then and then the push downs right that's another 16 minutes. And then maybe you want to do a, a, a concentrated curl uh, where you work the, the end part of the bicep. That's another 16 minutes, a whole hour. If you're going to do it smart, if you're going to train smart, you're an idiot. You are so dumb. 
You do biceps whenever you're ready, douche. Like I said, hey, you know, I, I already discussed that. Eyes and tries. Another study in 2022 also found that. Oh, this one's in 2022. This ain't. This ain't. This this ain't. This ain't your grandpa's study. It is from fucking 2022, boss. Statistically significantly greater quad muscle gains with three minutes of rest compared to one minute. And the cherry. Uh, I don't know what that means like quad gains. Like, like um, if you're just doing leg extensions, if you're if you're doing like a machine that specifically like targets the quads and stuff like leg extensions, shit, you can just like probably just need like a minute and a half between sets or whatever squats with squats. Don't even time that shit. Just fucking feel it out. Don't don't well, worry about this shit. That that's just. I mean, but it, it was from a study from 2022 to be fair so what well, was this in the united states of america it wasn't no goddamn swede doesn't tell me a 2017 euro junior sports science so it was somewhere in europe not not american i don't know how uh valid your study is bud Thematic review looking at all the relevant research at the time concluded that overall regardless of training experience resting longer between sets is best for maximizing muscle hypertrophy as for the rationale behind more rest it comes down to two quintessential factors of muscle growth that have been repeatedly <clears throat> supported by the science i've covered them plenty of times and that is training volume and proximity <laughs> i don't need to get into it right now <laughs> even though <laughs> this is exactly what the video is about hey guys look watch the rest of my videos motherfucker <laughs> i've already covered it uh, man, this guy literally just pulled three studies. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> I got a sneeze, dude. I'm sorry. He got one boomer study from 40 years ago. He got a hot new sex study from 16 from 2016, and and a a, a batty of a study from 2022. And he was like, time to make a video. Hold on, I gotta scroll back. Here we go. Well, what were you saying, Chief? Covered them plenty of times, and that is training volume and proximity to failure. In short, whatever amount of rest that allows you to lift more volume while also taking more volume close to and sometimes all the way to failure will generally lead to the greatest muscle growth. And that's... <clears throat> this, this is a very... Uh, nothing uh statement whenever we go lift we already have our shit written out we have it planned out oh i, ju I just i just lift with mo with my heart with my feeling with my emotion shut up shut the fuck up and go study <clears throat> we have our lifts written out for the day for the week for the month hell heck maybe even for the next six months to a year You do the volume. How do you do the volume? You do it. Oh, how do I do it? How long do I rest? Figure it out. If it takes a minute, it takes a minute. If it takes three minutes, it takes three minutes. You just do the volume that we've been prescribed, whether it was by ourselves, whether it was by some training program, whatever. You just do the volume. There is no, oh, like this is greater, uh, th uh, this, this time of, it will provide you more volume. It's like, no, you you do your fucking volume. You retard. That that is such a nothing statement. You're a retard. It is muscle growth. And that's the main crux of resting less. 30 to 60 seconds is just not enough rest, resulting in less volume since you'll do fewer and fewer reps in No, you do your reps that you that you uh wrote down. See, for example, set one, all right, you, you, you want to do four sets of 12, right? So set one, you did 12 reps, right? And and, set, and then so you go to your next set, maybe you only waited a, a minute and a half or whatever. And then it's like, oh, I only did 10 reps. Well, then you know what you do? You wait a whole ass three minutes and then on set three or five minutes and then in set three, you, you then you'll probably do your uh, 12 sets or 12 reps. On the other hand, um, if you, uh, if you're set one, 12 reps and then set two, and then you only wait 60 seconds, set two, 12 reps, bam, cool, boo, go, go, go. Maybe, maybe that day you're on fire or whatever. Are, are you just that completely retarded? Like, oh, I don't know. I'm on the quark. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, I, I had to do 60 seconds for, for Twembalone sandwich, uh, muscle stimulation. 
retard. Each subsequent set. Now, an alternative would be to add even more sets to increase volume further. This is what? No. That's that's so dumb. I I don't know who he's talking to, but like I said, uh, the 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 fallback, the cop is. Oh, I'm doing this for beginners. Shut the fuck up. There's already a thing for beginners. It's called starting strength. And yeah, people are like, oh, starting strength is gay. Starting strength is lame. Look, Mark Ribito will explain the flip out of a squat and tutorize a motherfucker on a squat, even though if it's just low bar into parallel. Hey, heck, that's good for most people. You know, it's already called starting strength. We don't need any more people fucking doing this shit for novices. That, that that's the only thing that I can think of is like who who would just add more sets. It's like oh I only did oh I I was supposed to do four sets of twelve but uh, I was resting forty five seconds in between sets and so I did my first set twelve my first set ten eight six well I guess all I gotta do is add more sets. It's like that the only person that would do that is if they just knew nothing if they if they just came in like hey. Hey, hey, dumb guy, nice to meet you. Hey, I miss your dumb guy, nice to meet you. I'm dumb. Like, that, that that's who would do that. And, and apparently that's who he's making the video for. He thinks you're fucking stupid. Whoever's watching this and liking it, 12,000 likes. He thinks you're that fucking dumb. Actually reflected on that same 2022 study, where when volume was equated between groups by adding more sets for the one-minute group, similar muscle gains were then observed. But that's a pretty inefficient way to increase volume compared to just resting more and achieving the same in fewer sets. More rest means more recovery, more recovery means more lifting, and more lifting... <sighs> more rest means more recovery. More recovery means more lifting... And black is kind of like a darker shade than white. The sky is like blue and shit. And, and uh, my dad thinks I'm gay. Yeah, it's good, 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 good talking points. I'm glad you fucking wrote that in the script, cunt. Means more gains. And if you want, fuck you. Where's your gains? Wanna dispute that? You know where the comments are. Now, frankly. <laughs> You like you like him being coy with you. If you want to be a little faggot, you want to argue with me, then you can go ahead and spurg out in my comment sections, bitch. No, how about I make a YouTube video making fun of you because you're a little girl and you don't know anything. And you're dumb and you're fat. Means more gains. And if you want to dispute that, you know where the comments are. No, I'm not going to give you any more fucking traction. You're a dumb person. Frankly, I don't blame any of you if you initially believe that less rest is best for muscle gains. It's a very popular recommendation, and if you Google that question... Hey, look. Hey, I understand that you're a big retard, man. It's fine, dude. I get it. You're not based in fucking studied pill, dude. Hey, I get it. Hey, you know, you're probably a big old stupid dumb cunt. Hey, hey, you know what? I appreciate that about you. You know, there's something, there's something cute about stupid people. I like that. Good job. And hey, look, here's a study that says that you're right for being stupid. <laughs> you hear this motherfucker? The gall. The gall of this motherfucker, dude. One of the first results is this website saying just that. Interestingly, the website here actually cites two studies to support their claim. But I'm assuming they probably didn't expect anyone to actually check them, because both of these studies essentially say the exact opposite. And when I mean opposite, I mean the title of one study literally says that short- This nigga checking boxes. Goddamn. Officer picture perfect. Motherfucker. Look at you, boss. I like this. I, I, I like this uh, bait and switch, you know. He, he was using <laughs> uh, his dumb bullshit uh, papers and shit. Uh, but then to cover that up, he's like, hey, look. Hey, guys, look. You got to believe me, dude. Look, I'm swagged out. I'm dripped out. Juggalo tattoos, bro. You got to look, muscle. Look, you got to believe me, dude. Look, because I, I checked the studies that I referenced. Because you know what? Best believe me, G, I went to these studies. And, and I doxed them and I called them in, word. <laughs> Stupid ass. But a rest blunts muscle protein synthesis. But who would have known that the internet would lie to us? Anyway, I hope I provided a sufficiently satisfying argument supporting two to three minutes of rest between your sets. And if you know someone that still believes that resting less is best, then show them this video. Now sh Show them your video? <clears throat> I don't know. You know, I can kind of, I, I can kind of appreciate the snark. You know, it, you know, it's really cool. You know, like, I wish I could be, like, that 
a uh, weak of a person to where I can't just outright just tell you I think you're stupid and stuff, right? Or just give out vapid content like this. You know, uh, let me finish this. I'm sorry, dude. Or they might stop talking to you afterwards, but at least now you know that they are properly informed. And that's the most important thing. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> talking to you afterwards but at least now wait you know no that I, I wanted to, i wanted to rewind that argument supporting two to three minutes of rest between your sets and if you know someone that still believes that resting less is best then show them this video now sure they might stop talking to you afterwards but at least now you know that they are properly informed and that no that's not that's not how you have someone learn something in, in my experience it's like it, it's better um if someone just asks you for information or you know right it's called unsolicited bullshit like hey you're doing that wrong blah 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 you know it'd be better if they you know just went and asked you you know that that's how i like talking about it like if i'm asked about it then you know but but if someone's doing their thing or whatever then i'm not gonna go out of my way and just be like oh <laughs> well, why are you squatting atg motherfucker <laughs> when are you gonna snatch what are you a pussy <laughs> Even though that's how I feel in my heart, but um, and, and also when someone's learning, it's it's better for a person uh, to figure it out uh, for themselves. So for a cartoon thing that doesn't even have its physique up, to tell them that in their face, in the worst way possible, referencing dog shit uh, research, just making blanket statements, making making vapid claims and stuff. It, it's the worst way. It's like this would do nothing except just piss someone off. Or or if anything, someone might be it, it's weird, like watching lifting content is like a skill. You know, it's like you have to know when this is bullshit. Like, I wanna do this as a test. I wanna show this to somebody and, and and you know, without without any prior stigma, just show this to somebody and be like, Hey, what do you think about this? And then I wanna hear what they say, you know. But I, I like to believe that you no, know, they can kind of like, uh, you know, feel out when someone's talking shit. But I, but then again, there is probably like a forty percent chance where they'll be like, "Oh, oh, you're making good points there, boss." Like, yeah, whatever, douche. <clears throat> you know, so so no. Uh, if, if you cause a fight with someone uh, about lifting, especially as uh, machismo as a, a subject like this, no, you're not going to help anybody out. You're just going to be a fucking dick. But this guy doesn't give a fuck about being a dick because I guess there's a lot of like-minded individuals like him that kind of like this kind of like soft light trolling, which all with this, all this, all this is all what this is. Like if you go on Instagram.com right now, uh, there's millions of people posting their lifts and billions of people uh, being doctors. And so this guy kind of like supplements those said doctors in the in the comments and stuff by spouting dumb bullshit like this, you know. So uh, I'm sorry, I gotta finish the video. Well, go ahead. That's the most important thing. Oh, and speaking about resting between sets, if you want to know what's the best amount of sets to actually do for your gains, then check out that video next by clicking the box that's going to pop up in about two to three seconds. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a restful thumbs up and share it with your set loving friends. Subscribe for more and let me know what you think in the. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, hey, <sighs> this guy isn't uh, going to stop making content. He'll continue to make content. I'll keep getting pissed off. Um, it doesn't matter. If I see something and I get pissed off, I'm going to be pissed off about it. Period. I don't fucking care. All right. This isn't for anyone's help or aid or whatever. You know, it's like lifting is my runescape. I'm going to if I if I if someone tells me uh, to get to Lumbridge, uh, you got to You got to go uh, through the wildy or whatever. I'm going to say bullshit, you know, and I'm going to say and then, you know, when I said that to somebody like, oh, so this is just a game for you. Like, you're not actually like doing this for for results or or hypertrophy for your actual strength like no but the thing is it's like it, it, it's just an interest okay <clears throat> the only thing that i can say is just like lifting if you don't like it then just pick something else it's fine you know fuck all this fucking oh do it for your health bullshit you want you, you give a fuck about being healthy so bad go go eat a salad and and, and go walking stupid 
hard. I hate this shit. I hate it. And it's never going to stop. <clears throat> Whatever. You know, at the, at the very least, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I hurt his feelings or something. Nah, he ain't going to hear this. Whatever, douche.